Hey YouTube, it's Textbook on Bad. And well, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a couple buttons right under your main banner on MySpace. Now, if you guys don't know what a banner is, or you want to get one, or you want to learn how to actually get your own custom banner, watch the video. Um, the link to the video will be in the video description. And well, yeah, you just want to watch that video, and it'll get you caught up with where I am right now. Now, uh, first thing is first, you want to make the banner. So here I have a simple banner. And then here I have two simple buttons, button one and button two. Now your banner could be as big as you want, and the buttons could be as big as you want, and you could put as many buttons as you want, but there are some limitations here. First limitation, make sure your banner is 800 pixels wide. And then also, second limitation um, is that you could have as many buttons as you want, but each button, the all the buttons added, uh, all the the widths of the buttons added together should equal the width of the banner. So let's say I want to have two buttons and the width of my banner is 800 pixels. I'm gonna make each button's width 400 pixels. Or if I want four buttons, I wanna make each bu button's width 200 pixels, and so on and so on. So here's an example of a MySpace that is using this. Um, right here, um, main banner image. And if you scroll down, you're going to see add, message, fave, and pics. These are all separate buttons, and they each um, go to different links. And, well, basically, yeah, this is what you guys are going to be learning how to create today. All right, so um, here I have t the edit profile section of text broke on bad to MySpace. Now, um, if you guys have been using a custom MySpace, prof or custom MySpace layout that you made yourself, and you have been using my code, you want to do this step. But if not, if you have just been using a uh, normal MySpace layout or pre-made MySpace layouts from one of those MySpace support sites, you don't need to do this. But if so, you want to scroll all the way down where the where the um, thing ends, where the code ends, and you want to start from the bottom. And um, you're gonna see right away. You're gonna see one thing that says style. Now you want to ignore that and keep going up to the second thing that says style. You don't want to go to the third. So there's one right there, there's one text that says style, and then another one that says style. Now you want to just highlight all of that, and then press delete. The reason being is because we're going to replace this code with another code, that, with another um, code that's going to give you the a whole banner, plus it's going to let you add on some buttons. So here I have this code, you want to just copy that and paste it where that previous code was. And the link to this code will be in the video description, as always. So you just want to paste it right there. And the first thing, oh, well, not the first thing you're going to see, but if you look closely, you're going to see something that says, main banner image URL goes here. Now, you want to just um, delete that and put the direct link to the main banner image. Now, as you can see, um, by the way, for those of you who don't know what the direct link to the main banner image is, is um, you want to make the banner, then upload it to a, a image hosting website like tinypick.com. I actually recommend tinypick. And then just upload it and get the direct link to it. And then, yeah, so that's the direct link. So after you've gone, after you've uploaded it and got the direct link to it, you just want to copy that direct link and put it right there. And then if you look um, uh, if you look above that direct link right there, um, you're going to see a couple of stuff. It's going to say left, margin left, margin top, width, um, position, and top. Now, um, you, you want to mess with these if you want to move your main banner image. Now, you want to mess with the margin left um, value. And what the margin left value does is move your banner left or right. And then you want to mess with the top value, and that what it, that does is how many pixels you put it. That's where the top of your banner will be. So if you put zero pixels, it's going to be at the top top of your MySpace. If you keep increasing it, your banner is going to start going down. And well, yeah. So that's all the coding right there for the banner. Now there's a paragraph. Let's call it a paragraph of coding right there. All that is for the banner. Now you're going to see a space and then another line of coding. Now this line of coding is for one button. If you want to add multiple buttons, in this case I do, you want to just copy that and then paste it right under it. So in this case I have two buttons, so I'm going to paste that twice. So I'm going to, I'm going to copy that once actually because since there's already it's already there once. Just copy that one more time and now I have two. So each line of this coding is for one button. So if let's say you have four buttons, you want to cop, you want to um, have four lines of coding. 
So let's do the first button. So it says URL, that first button will lead to goes here. Now, this is when people click on that button, you, this is the URL that it's going to lead to. So you want to put HTTP coin slash slash um, the URL. So in this case, I want it to lead to textport or uh, youtube.com slash textport gone bad. So I put the URL, and then next you're going to see URL to first button. Now this is the direct link to the first button. And again, you want to upload that button to TinyPick, get the direct link out of it, and put the direct link right there. And then do the same for the second button. So you want to put a different URL for the second button this time. So HTTP coin slash slash. This time let's say textportgonebad.com. And then you want to change. Uh, and then you want to put a URL to the first button. That's the direct link to the first button. So just copy or the second button actually. Just copy that. Paste it right there. And that's bas basically it. So you're set. So um, after you're done messing with all that coding. Just press save changes. And then you want to press view my profile. Now let's give it a second to load here. And there you have it. It says text pork on bad. That's the main banner. And it says button one and button two. And button one leads to youtube.com slash text pork on bad. And button two leads to text pork on bad dot com. And that's basically it. Obviously, it's gonna look more. It's gonna look better if you put more time into this. But yeah, that's basically it. So, um, hope I helped you guys out today. Hope everything works out. And if you guys need any help, just message me, and I'll be sure to help you guys out. All right.